Hey guys, it's Bino! And this is Andy's name, Boah Hood. Yeah, Boah Hood. This is us a cutscene. Lenny once risked his life to save me. Did I you? couldn't call myself his friend if I were willing to do the same. So who's with me? I'm packing you an extra pair of shoes and your angry eyes, just in case. This is for Woody when you find him. Did he actually do that in the movie? He did not. I'll do my best, son. Okay, fellas, let's roll. Geronimo! You'd think with all my video game experience, I'd be feeling more prepared. Toy Barn and Beyond. Yeah, I deserve that apparently. So anyway, this is the second stage. This is probably one of the more hated stages. Now unfortunately you can't get everything from the stage on the first go. I believe we'll have to skip out on the race. But that's okay, because we can grab the race like straight off as soon as we get the next item. Oh, oh, great, great, look at this. Oh, <laughs> this lawnmower's out of control. So anyway, this is what you gotta do. You gotta try and find the soldier, and then you gotta ground pound. Whoa, gosh, that lawnmower's out to get me. And then you gotta try and ground pound where he is. It's a bit of a weird concept actually, I don't know why he's hiding even though he's supposed to be... I don't know. And then the last one you can pick him up. Anyway, yeah, they're the five collectibles, the army men. So anyway, here's the race. But we're gonna have to avoid it, I'm unfortunately. You know, that's only one of the stages that I'm actually gonna really skip. And I believe that'll be the fifth stage. Just because it requires an item that you require that you get later in the game. But it requires it in order to do most of the objectives. It's it's very odd, isn't it, right? Green snot laser! So anyway, there's a new enemy, there's weird things. I don't know what's with the enemies. I mean, there weren't really any antagonists in the film besides Evil Buzz, but that was about it. And Evil Buzz doesn't even appear in this game. What is with these games and not paying attention to the fact that they... Well, I mean, like, I know they should pay attention, but the fact that they don't even use the same enemies... Although Zerg does appear, but... I went the Star Wars knockoff in, in that film, man. Right, Kate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, we're just kind of going around. Uh, here's a bit of an annoying bit. The bit with the um, with the laundry and the Buzz Lightyear shirts. Just because they don't have a line switching mechanic, so you just have to kind of jump it. And it's a bit awkward. Like everything in life. I gotta get that coin. That coin needs me! I will get your coin! If it's the last thing I do! That's why you try getting your videos under schedule. Yeah, I got it. Oh, respawning enemies, you're gonna love them. 
Because you're going to use some of your ammo on that. And you're going to have no clue whether you shot them or not. Because they all drop a coin. But anyway, yeah. Just, you know, a nice, relaxing game of Toy Story 2. Now, thankfully this is his neighborhood, so I can't yell at him too much outside of his yard. For example, why do they have, like, a strange road outside their neighborhood? Is this supposed to be the street? Because there's houses on both sides, and I don't know if this is a street or if it's a backyard. I'm going to say this is a backyard, because I don't know many streets with a swing set or a giant tree with... Noose tires, I, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, there's um. Rex or whatever his name is. Is his name Rex? I have no clue. Because we haven't got any tokens, and I believe we've got the tokens like straight away on the other stages. We're not getting the race token, unfortunately. I keep saying that. There's a point that needs to be drilled into your forehead. I like this fence, it's so thin. I also like how these trees can support a toy's weight. Well, I think they should be able to do that. Yeah, I know, right? Checkpoint! Uh, it's not like that other game with checkpoints. You know, Traveler's Tales tried something very similar with a later Pixar movie. Didn't they? These poles look like spoons. I went back because I missed the corns. Grab the corn! The only time when these poles are curved. Oh, there's also one of those guys on it. So anyway, you need a constantly ground pound, and that will pump up this rubber ducky. And then eventually... No, I... I believe you can't get those coins without the power-up, but why would you want to? Why would you want to go back? Even though you kind of have to. It's actually, I've done this before, it's possible to beat the race just by standing in front of them, but... Yeah, I don't feel like getting all these coins. What is the power-up anyway? It's the rocket boots, so they basically allow you to... Get boost power, I guess. Wait, can I grab the coins? Oh, okay, no. I was trying to see if I could grab the coins. I'll grab the coins because I'm a bit of a snob like that. Ish cruel. Oh yeah, back on the duck. What the heck, how did I grab on that end of the duck? That's what she said. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> you may be wondering what else is there of the stage. There was just the swing set left. Oh gosh. Yes, there's just the swing set left. So, yeah, it's not too big of a stage, and you may be wondering why do I hate it? Well, I guess it's just because it involves the backtracking. I don't like the stages with the backtracking. I believe it's only a few stages of quiet backtracking. I believe it's just this stage, stage 5, and I think stage 8. Oh, yeah. Pam is up here. He's got a coin above his head. Why is he wondering where they all are? 
There's the annoying thing, you gotta make sure you don't exit the stages from here. Okay, disregard the fact that I said each stage is about 70 coins because according to these values I've been way off. So anyway, yeah, you climb the tree and you get to see the really obvious skybox. I mean seriously, the ground is black. Now here's a bit of a checkpoint, you gotta grab the pole and the pole goes all the way down to the ground where you can climb up it again. Rev death! Rev death! Why you probably have a really random rope that doesn't even look like a rope? There's a rope, it's got lines on it. <laughs> if... Also, I don't understand why he keeps saying that, because the whole point of the first movie was to try and get him out of his mindset. Out of his robotic mindset. In this, now he's just suddenly spouting out lines from that. Okay, so we're almost at the top. Which is... Oh gosh, coin I must get. <laughs> Must grab coin. Kind of reminds me of the 100 coin mission from Mario 64. I guess everyone wanted to take off the. Oh gosh! I'm going the wrong way. Luigi. Die! Thing. Now, unfortunately, if you fall from here, you gotta climb up all the way back up. And then the music just goes all. So anyway, you just kind of fire your laser and then you run away. One of those fights. Oh gosh, he's a flapping his wings. Uh. But anyway, it just takes like a few green lasers, that's about it. I think the difference is I grabbed the green laser first, so he's... Okay, you know what, that's it, I'm gonna... Ah, come back! <laughs> and then he explodes. This was challenging when I tried it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try it. And this is what I did. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go around the stage and grab the boosters. But, if you're pro like me, you can constantly stand in front of them throughout the race. But as soon as I fail, I'm probably gonna mess up, you know. Because then I'll just stand in front and I'll... I believe you gotta pass around the poles as well. Whoa, elephants! But if I do this, then I don't have to go back, which is actually, actually kind of handy. Handy, handy. Not like any other things that are handy. Oh yeah, the tree's like spouting goop. I don't know why. Nope, you're not getting ahead. <laughs> so yeah, you're supposed to be using the boosters in order to win. But if you just kind of exploit the game, then you can win. And everybody likes winning, don't they? <laughs> Actually, uh, I think it's good if I get this on camera, because then... It can be done! And without any game-breaking things... I'm gonna lose it around this corner. Oh yeah! What now? He is so mad, he's going like, what the heck was that? 
And I'm going, is there a hundredth coin? Because that's one thing I'm wondering. Did I hit you yet? I guess I did. Well, I guess there's only 99 coins in the stage, unfortunately. Ah, kill a lawnmower! There's a battery over there. That's about it! May I just say that? His... His model looks so bad. Like, it looks like a... Just like a, a green blob. <laughs> so we got the we got the secret one, we got the boss, we got the race, we got the to infinity <laughs> and beyond. So I guess we succeeded. This calls for a clear stage screen. And we got 99 coins. I should probably stop trying to get all these coins. I should just kind of leave it to the stage. So anyway, that's it. But, we'll throw in the boss stage just as a bonus. So anyway, this is the boss stage. You run out onto this field. It's completely closed off area. You gotta try and hit the plane. As he does that, pretty much. As he kind of sweeps the ground with bullets. In a kid's game. Be careful with that. In a kid's game, you can make a toy plane fire bullets. I should probably deal more damage, because if you charge your laser, you deal more damage. Come on, hit him. Where are you going? Get on the ground, there you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then he starts going all crazy and then he explodes. And then you win, that's it. That's the thing with the boss stages, they're easy and very quick. And your reward is... to get to save your game. Oh my goodness, I never get to do this that often. <laughs> do 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 Holy snap, it's a bonus movie. For bonuses. You get to see this section. Oh, this section. Yeah. Is this the beginning of it? Yeah. Like at the very, very beginning. You know what's really weird? The fact that they never put in the video game section from the film into the actual video game but they put the, f the actual film from it because they're a bit lazy like that I also don't remember doing this in... one thing I did like about Toy Story 3 was the fact that they actually did bring this along although it would have worked better as this game Also, I'm just saying, what game would pull off that? Oh my goodness, the physics engine on this game. I'm sorry. I'm not today, sir. Up to jump. Yeah, the good all super Nintendo. Anyway, see you kids next year.